Bang, we have over in Euro 2024 with Spain taking on France for a spot in the final. Who's going to come out on top? We'll get into it, all of it, next. That's right, folks, back once again with another preview video. Today is all about the semi-final between former winners Spain against former winners France, who, of course, will get to a future final. We'll get into all of that and more in a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for Euro 2024 is right here under one Ruski. Spain have been the best team in the tournament by a distance, but we've just been waiting for France to click into gear. Have it, Will this be the game that French rise up to the occasion and show the watching world what we've been waiting for? We'll get into all that. And, uh, of course, in just a second, if you're new, where you've been, smash the like, smash the subscribe. Your one-stop shop for Euros is right here under one Ruski. Spain, of course, knocked out my boys, German. Of course, I had to take that with a bit of pill. But, of course, I'm all Spanish now. That's right. I'd love to see uh, uh, at least one of these nations go the distance. But there is, of course, another semi-final, which we'll preview in another video. But who, of course, will get the upper hand? We'll get into it in a second. Big big shout-out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. But anyway, let's get into it and have a look at the match itself. That's right. It's going to be a crunch clash. It is Spain. It is France for a spot in this year's Euro 2020 final uh, over in Germany. So take a look at how we got here with the uh, the Spanish, uh, of course, qualified as Group A winners way back, 15th of October, 2023. They've been here 11 times in the past. They have won it. Luis de la Fuente has been a, a fantastic job with this Spanish team, young Spanish team who could come and dominate uh, European and world football for years to come. Uh, Rodri, the star man, of course, Group B was their uh, was their group. They qualified that uh, as group winners. 5-4 to four on was the odds. They also had odds at 12-1 to one on to qualify. And even at odds eight to one to lift it at the lift the whole trophy at the start of the tournament. My expectation was a quarterfinal exit, but guess what? I've got to eat my words, eat my cap, of course, because I'm wrong. That's right, I'm absolutely wrong. As the Spanish have been pretty much perfect since the since the kickoff back against uh, Croatia on the 15th of June, where they won three 0 They followed that up with a one 0 win over Italy, and then of course took care of business against Albania with a, with another one 0 win. Didn't concede a goal in the group stages. Perfect record. You know that's the, that's the blueprint for future tournaments. Uh, they followed up with a with, a, with a, you know a little little scare against Georgia, four one win though in the end, and then a last minute dot com winner against uh, Germany, which of course broke my heart. But um, you know, have Spain really been the best team? It looks like they have been. Set up an absolute cracker though against the French, which we'll talk about in a minute. These are the key personnel for um, for the Spanish with uh, Unai Simon, uh, Carvajal there, of course, Cucayela, uh, Marina with that goal, of course, to, to break the hearts, and Morata, Jocelyn Danielmo, uh, Nico Williams, of course, Yamal has also been uh, getting a lot of headlines. But what about my 11 then for you for this match? Now, of course, I'm coming at you here with a, with a, with a disclaimer. Uh, one of these is wrong. We're going to go Unai Simon, Cucurella, Lenormand, La Poitre, Carvajal, Rodri, Fabian Ruiz, Nico Williams, Morata and Yamal. Now, of course, I know. I know what you're about to say. Can I have, have I got the ability to scribble on this one? He is not going to be here. Pedri is not going to be here. Can I Can I, Can I? I do anything? I cannot do anything. Uh, so he is not going to be here. I expect maybe, uh, I expect Danny Olmo to come in. But regardless... Uh, Petri's tournament is over. He will not be participating any further, regardless of what goes on in this game and beyond. But in their way, standing in their way, will be a tricky La France, La France. Let's take a little look at how they got to the stage. Of course, qualified as Group B winners. They qualified on 30th of October, 2023. They've been here 10 times in the past. Of course, Didier Deschamps is the manager, probably even earned himself uh, an extension uh, to the World Cup by getting to the semi-finals, even though they've been dog shit. Kylian Mbappe has been supposed to be the star man, but really hasn't really got going. Group D was their venue. Uh, they qualified 15-8 uh, on uh, to win the group, 20-1 on to qualify the whole thing, uh, and to win it 7-2. My expectation was a final. I do expect them to, to at the start of the tournament, to be at the final. It wasn't going to be against Germany, but... Uh, that's, of course, not going to happen. But this has been their resume. They did open up with a 1-0 win over Austria, followed that up with a 0-0 draw against the Dutch, and then a 1-1 draw against the French. That 0-0 draw against the Dutch could be a future final. It's still a possibility. The Dutch in another side of the bracket. That's, of course, a uh, story for another video. They followed that up with a 1-0 win against Neighbours Belgium, and then a 0-0 draw against Portugal. Followed that up with a penalty shootout victory to send the Portuguese out, uh, out, as they say in Canada, uh, and to set up this semi-final with Spain. Now, these are the key players 
for La France, of course, with Megan. Uh, between the sticks, we've got like Upa Meccano, Saliba, Camavinga, Kante, Griezmann, and Mbappe with the mask. Uh, but what about the star men who's going to play on the day? Well, this is my pick for the t for the for the match. We've got Megan between the sticks, Tio Hernandez, Saliba, Upa Meccano, Kunde, Rabo, Tushmeni, and Kante, and Mbappe, Turam. And Griezmann have been the ones that have been regulars. So, of course, he's probably going to stick to his guns, I would imagine. But let's take a look at the match itself then, shall we? Coming at you at the Allianz Arena uh, on the 9th of July. Spain with the La Fuente in the dugout. France with the De Champs in the dugout. Played each other 14 times since 1984. Five wins for the Spanish, seven wins for the French. Two draws, of course. Spain, though, six wins on the mouth. 100% form for them heading into this one. The France, 75% form for them. Uh, also unbeaten in at least the last six matches. The most recent match was back in the 10th of the 10th. Uh, it was the, uh, the Nations League final. Uh, France coming out on top, 2-1 win in the end. The last time Spain were victorious was back in March 2017 in France uh, with a 2-0 win way back when. Well, that's, of course, the form book. As you can see, the most recent uh, tie goes in favour of the French. And the French are actually, it's very tight, but they have actually won four of the last six between these two sides, if you look back over the recent records. But the public vote is coming at you just in one second. The bookies have eight to five for your Spain, 21 to 10 is your French, 15 to eight is the draw. So it looks like the bookies are back in the Spanish on this one. What about the public vote? Well, the public vote Wow, look at that. Overwhelmingly so. And there's big, a big response to that vote. 80% uh, back in the Spanish, 20% uh, about back in the up the uh, the rather poor uh, French side on this one. They've not really clicked. They've not really scored goals, but they they are phenomenal. They've got the players. They've got the assets. They've got the, they've got the guys who could turn it on at a moment's notice. Will this be the game that they turn it on uh, with a little notice? Because we're not expecting it. We're not. We're expecting Spain to turn up and, of course, deliver the, the, the killer punch to get over the line. You know, I was hoping the Germans would get to, to this stage and maybe even a chance for the final one. And I'm a little bit disappointed that they, they, they did that. As for the French, I was not expecting that either. I thought they were going to take a tumble against the Portuguese because they've not been good. They've not been great. Um, but regardless, I think the winner of this competition is potentially going to be the new European champion, whether it's Spain, whether it's France. Of course, that, of course, we can we, we, we still have games, two important games to decide um, who's going to be in the final and, and my ultimate decision. But... For this game, I've got to back the Spanish. They were too good uh, in the group stages. They've not really let go. They've not given given up the gas. I know Pedri will be a major loss. Yes, he will. But Danny almost fantastic. Marino coming off from the bench, scoring a uh, killer go killer goal to uh, to put them through to a to semi final. And of course, the future is very much red and yellow at the moment. And that, of course, red and yellow belongs to Spain. I back them very much so at the moment. And of course, it's going to take something special to stop them winning this competition. That injury to Pedri could be a bit of a bigger blow, and maybe the, the French could take full advantage but of course right here right now it's looking that this these two nations are very much uh very close to becoming champions of europe yet again that's my take subscribe smash like catch later but until then we are done